and welcome to Adorama TV. I'm Ruth Mejbur and today I'm going to be taking a look at some Westcott soft boxes, the Rapidbox Octa XL and the Zeppelin Para 59. I'm a big, big fan of soft boxes. I mainly work in the studio or out on location, but mostly I shoot portraits. The great thing about soft boxes is they give a beautifully soft, diffused light that when it falls on people just looks absolutely divine. The Zeppelin Para 59 is a beast of a softbox. When you put it into a studio, you'll see exactly what I mean. 59 stands for 59 inches, and that's at its widest point across. To give you a little bit of perspective, I'm 62 inches tall. So when I'm trying to maneuver this, it just looks a little bit ridiculous. Now, personally, working in my studio space might not be the perfect location for it, but any time that I'm going to book a larger studio for group shots or big corporate events, then this is definitely the softbox I want to use. Ideally, I'd love to have this on a boom arm. I'd love to also position it just above my subjects in front of them so that you get this beautiful soft spread of light that will fall onto them. Because of the size of this softbox, you could easily shoot very large group portraits with them. For me, that means I can do a big band of musicians or a group of uh, rugby players, football players, dancers, anything like that. And really, you just have to use one light. It's so, so, so perfect. So what I did when I first got this softbox is I put it straight onto my Bowens kit. Now my standard Bowens kit is a 200 Gemini range, which is quite low power when you think about it in the grand scheme of things. I initially thought that it wasn't gonna be powerful enough for the size of this softbox, but I was so, so, so wrong. What this softbox does is uses every little bit of available light that you're putting through it and maximizes it to its full potential. So I was getting this beautifully even spread and very strong light across the entire board. You really can't ask a softbox to do anything better than what this does. So you can modify the amount of light you receive from this softbox by using the two diffusers. There's an inner diffuser, which goes on with a snap button function, and then there's also the outside diffuser, which just attaches really simply with a Velcro strip. To make everything even easier, there's a zip side panel from which you can get into the inside of the softbox. So when I first received this Zeppelin Para 59, I was a little bit overwhelmed by the size of it, considering that I had to build it myself. However, it actually wasn't that hard to assemble. I managed it all by myself and under 30 minutes, and I'm quite proud of that. Um, when I was putting it together, I did notice that it was easier to assemble than most other soft boxes because there's a little bit of movement in the bars, in the, in the bars that go around the edge of it. So it made slotting it all together really easy. However, it is still really, really strong. I could tell by it that the stitching from which the bars go into and the metal surround that goes onto the light, everything is really, really high quality and sturdy. So I wouldn't really have any trust problems with this if I was the type of photographer that needed to take it down at the end of each day and move from location to location. I probably wouldn't. I'd probably leave this up in my main studio and just keep it there as my main, main, main light. If I was the kind of photographer, which I am, that goes from location to location, I might be more inclined to look at the Rapidbox Okta XL. This softbox is perfect for photographers like me who go to location, location, location during the day. So I think it'd be perfect going into, say, somebody's office space or even doing a portrait in a coffee shop, somewhere where you don't have a lot of space and you need to be in and out really, really quickly. Great thing about these is they go up in an instant, almost just as quick as an umbrella does, come down just as quick too. You also have a lot of versatility in terms of the amount of light that you get from these. You can snap on an inner diffuser ring attached by Velcro and outer diffuser ring. You can even buy a separate deflector plate and use it almost like a beauty dish light source. The Rapid Box range is perfect as they fold up really, really neatly and fit into their own carry case, which makes it the perfect choice for when I'm going on location abroad and all I get to bring with me is my carry-on luggage. Overall, both of these softboxes are really strong, sturdy, well-built, quite dependable and very versatile in the amount of light that you can get from them. To be fair, I think they're a really reasonable price too. I've made the mistake very recently of buying a cheaper end softbox that has ripped within a couple of months. Before, I also bought one that was just too hard to assemble, so I didn't bother. 
These guys though, very, very easy to assemble. The wrapper box goes up and down in a flash and the Zeppelin, it's just so easy, I can't get over it, but I probably wouldn't be able to justify having something so large in my studio. If I had a slightly larger studio though, I would totally invest in this because it's really all you need for group portraits. The wrapper box Okta XL though, I am quite keen to add that to my portable lighting kit. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this product overview. If you'd like to see more videos, then subscribe to the Adorama YouTube channel. If you'd like to brush up on your own photography skills, then check out the Adorama Learning Center. Thanks, and I'm gonna see you again real soon. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.